He's an old guy. I had to hit them notes for you one time. <laughs> you already know what we're going to do. We're going to laugh and we're going to tap into it. <laughs> Subscribe squad. It's another day. It's another dollar. It's time for another freaking reaction because that is what we do. You look at me and I look at you. You look at me and I look at you. You look at me and I look at you. That is what we do. Before we go ahead and react to some more George Carlin, I need you to do me a favor. A favor, big dog. I need you to hit that like button. I need you to hit that sub button. I need you to hit that bell button. Because you can ring my bell. Ring my bell. My bell. Ring it, ring it, ring it. That way you know every single time, literally every single time that I drop a new video. Not only that, but we have a gold scribe squad. We're trying to get to 20K subs. 20K subs by the end of the year. And I know for a fact, I know for a fact that we could do it. Because one, we did it last time. And two, whoo, 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 we make no excuses, none whatsoever when it comes to chasing our dreams, chasing our goals. You know, I'm out here getting it. You're out here getting it. So we're going to go ahead and get it together. Get it together. And get to 20k subs. Now, with that being said, you know I love to laugh. You know what I'm saying? I really do. I really, really do. And uh, today we're doing George Carlin, Ten Commandments. It was highly requested by you all. I told y'all I'll be listening to them comments or reading, rather, reading those comments. I'm tapping into it. Uh, let's go, George. Take it away. Something else I got a problem with. The Ten Commandments. Here's my problem. Why are there ten? You don't need ten. I think the list of commandments was deliberately and artificially inflated to get it up to 10. It's a padded list. Here's what they did. About 5,000 years ago, a bunch of religious and political hustlers got together to try to figure out how to control people, how to keep them in line. They knew people were basically stupid and would believe anything they were told. So they announced that God had given them some commandments. Up on a mountain, when no one was around, <laughs> God had given them the Ten Commandments. But let me ask you this. When they were sitting around making this shit up, why did they pick ten? Why ten? Why not nine or eleven? I'll tell you why. Because ten sounds official. <laughs> ten sounds important. They knew if it was eleven, people wouldn't take it seriously. Say, so what, are you kidding me? The Eleven Commandments? Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> but ten... Ten sounds important. Ten is the basis for the decimal system. It's a decade. It's a psychologically satisfying number. The top ten, the ten most wanted, mm -hmm. the ten best dressed. So having ten commandments was really a marketing decision. <laughs> and to me... He's dumb. But if you really think about it, though, it's like, why are certain numbers, like, stick out? And then you think of, like, ten fingers, like, that's all the fingers and hands that we have. That's all we could count up to. Like, so many reasons. But okay, George, let's go. Commandments was really... A marketing decision. And to me, it's clearly a bullshit list. It's a political document artificially inflated to sell better. I'm going to show you how you could reduce the number of commandments and come up with a list that's a little more workable and logical. We're going to start with the first three, and I'll use the Roman Catholic version because those are the ones I was taught as a little boy. I am the Lord thy God. Thou shalt not have strange gods before me. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain. Thou shalt keep holy the Sabbath. Right off the bat, the first three, pure bullshit. <laughs> Sabbath, Sabbath day, Lord's name, strange gods. Spooky language. <laughs> Spooky language. Designed to scare and control primitive people. In no way does superstitious nonsense like this apply to the lives of intelligent, civilized humans in the 21st century. You throw out the first three commandments, whoosh, you're down to seven. <laughs> Next, honor thy father and mother. Obedience, respect for authority. Just another name for controlling people. <laughs> the truth is, obedience and respect should not be automatic. They should be earned. They should be based on the parents' performance. <laughs> parents' performance. Okay, I'll put you on that. Some, some parents deserve respect. Most of them don't. <laughs> Period. 
Let me tell a black woman that. <laughs> some, some parents deserve respect. Most of them don't. Period. You're down to six. Now, in the interest of logic, something religion is very uncomfortable with, we're going to jump around the list a little bit. Thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness. Stealing and lying. Well, actually, these two both prohibit the same kind of behavior. Dishonesty, stealing, and lying. So you don't need two of them. Instead, you combine them and you call it, thou shalt not be dishonest. And suddenly, you're down to five. Yeah, yeah. And as long as we're combining, I have two others that belong together. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife. Once again, these two prohibit the same kind of behavior. In this case, marital infidelity. The difference is coveting takes place in the mind. And I don't think you should outlaw fantasizing about someone else's wife. Otherwise, what's a guy going to think about when he's waxing his carrot? <laughs> but, but marital fidelity is a good idea, so we're going to keep the idea and call this one, Thou shalt not be unfaithful. And suddenly, we're down to four. But when you think about it, honesty and fidelity are really part of the same overall value. So in truth, you could combine the two honesty commandments with the two fidelity commandments and give them simpler language, positive language instead of negative, and call the whole thing, thou shalt always be honest and faithful, and we're down to three. Thou shalt, thou shalt, they're going away, they're going away fast. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's goods. This one is just plain fucking stupid. <laughs> Coveting your neighbor's goods is what keeps the economy going. <laughs> Am I right? Your neighbor gets a vibrator that plays Oh Come All Ye Faithful. <laughs> <laughs> no, he didn't. Oh, we. Oh, come on. He's. <laughs> oh my goodness. Woo, now that was a funny one. That was a good one. That was a good one, George. All right. Your neighbor gets a vibrator that plays Oh Come All Ye Faithful. If you want to get one too. <laughs> coveting creates jobs. Leave it alone. You throw out coveting, you're down to two now. The big honesty and fidelity commandment. And the one we haven't talked about yet, thou shalt not kill, murder, the fifth commandment. But when you think about it, <laughs> when you think about it, religion has never really had a big problem with murder. <laughs> not really. More people have been killed in the name of God than for any other reason. <laughs> All you have to do is... That part... All you have to do is look at Northern Ireland, the Middle East, Kashmir, the Inquisition, the Crusades, and the World Trade Center to see how seriously the religious folks take Thou Shalt Not Kill. The more devout they are, the more they see murder as being negotiable. It's negotiable. You know? It depends. It depends. It depends on who's doing the killing and who's getting killed. So, with all of this in mind, I leave you with my revised list of the two commandments. Thou shalt always be honest and faithful to the provider of thy nookie. <laughs> and thou shalt try real hard not to kill anyone. <laughs> unless, of course... Wait, stop. I gotta catch my breath, bro. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Whoo! All right, let me back it up just a little bit. Nookie. <laughs> And thou shalt try real hard not to kill anyone, unless, of course, they pray to a different invisible man from the one you pray to. <laughs> Two is all you need. Moses could have carried him down the hill in his fucking pocket. <laughs> and if they had a list like that, I wouldn't mind those folks in Alabama putting it up on the courthouse wall. <laughs> as long as they included one additional commandment, thou shalt keep thy religion to thyself. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thanks for coming. What is he doing? <laughs> Thank you.
Okay, all right. Okay, George. Okay. <laughs> That's all I have to say is okay, George. Now, that was funny. That one was funny for sure. All right, we tapping into his funny bone. We tapping into his funny bone. What I need y'all to do is do me a favor. You know what I'm saying? As I rep from our school, shout out to you and OP. You know, they're young rebel, you know me. Anyway, <coughs> ooh, that cranberry <coughs> juice, wrong pipe. <coughs> all that laughing. I need you to do me a favor, though. I need you to let me know more George Carlin in the comments below. Also, if you haven't already, hit that sub button. Watch another video on my channel. And I love you guys. Have a great day. Seriously, have a great day. Talk to you soon.